All right, Craig Hocknell here. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little bit of a review, kind of a test run of this new golf ball. So I've got my old faithful traditional Pro V1X that I've played years and years and years of golf with and lots of competitive tournament rounds. I've also got a uh, golf ball by Encore Golf. Uh, it's called the Avant and uh, we're going to test that one out. And then I also have another golf ball by Encore. It is the MA 1.0 and this is the one with the hollow core technology in it. Both of these golf balls come from Encore. Uh, the Avant does not have the hollow core. And I can tell you that right out of the box when you grab each of them, the <clears throat> Pro V1, as many of you may know, has got that nice soft feel to it. And when you bounce it on a wedge, it has that nice clacking sound. Um, or not clacking, so thud sound. Um, the Avant resembles that very much so. It has that nice same soft feel. Cover kind of feels the same way if you drop it on a wedge or concrete. It kind of has that same feeling as well. Um, the MA 1.0 has a harder uh, sound, kind of more like a, a pinnacle or a top flight. Um, it does have the hollow core in it, and I, from what I understand, there's going to be a new ball coming out called the Caliber that's going to combine both of these with the hollow core technology and the softness. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to play a little three ball best ball. So I'm going to hit all three. Then I'll grab the camera, we'll drive down and see where they went. And I'll give you a little review of how they feel and fly as we drive down there. So here's the first one. This is the Pro V1. Very nice and straight. A little, <coughs> a little low on the face. Maybe a baby fade. And this is the Avant. Yeah, very similar. I caught that one more in the heel. Kind of spun it off to the right. This is the MA 1.0. Boy, that was a much louder sound. I actually couldn't quite tell if I hit it low on the face or in the center. Um, <clears throat> but it took off like a bullet. So it went dead straight. Um, I, I would expect, you know, for that last one to probably be the furthest just because I hit it the best. Um, I would guess maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 yards longer, I would imagine. Um, it flew straighter, I hit it more solidly, but again, the sound was so loud I couldn't quite tell uh, if I hit it dead center. Uh, I'm only assuming that. So, I'm going to gather up my mess here. I'm just going to keep the camera rolling as I take you down the fairway. That way, <coughs> it's completely authentic. And, you know, I'm not, I don't really care either way which golf ball does the best. You know, I'm very, very interested in this company. <coughs> um, the, uh, the Encore company is obviously doing something new. They are <laughs> coming out with a golf ball, right? They're, it's a golf ball company. Now, it's not new because golf balls are new. It's actually just new because why would anybody want to try to compete with the manufacturers that are already out there? So. <coughs> um, from what I can tell you, from what I know about the company so far, uh, I know that their heart is in the right place. I know that they're really interested in supporting and helping junior golf, uh, as well as developmental mini tour golf. Um, I know that they are the title sponsor of the mini tour here in Arizona, uh, which actually has extended its reach outside of Arizona, but the Gateway Tour started here and uh, I know Encore is a title sponsor and a partner of them so in talking with um, Steve Coltron who's one of the co-founders um, it's just been very evident to me that that their heart is definitely in the right place and they're very interested in helping and supporting 
um, those developmental players and the mini tour players, so and the juniors. So here we are. <clears throat> Here's the three balls. I can tell you that this is this one here is my slightly low on the face uh, baby fade Pro V1. That's what has to be that one. Um, this one over here, about the same distance and a little further off to the right, <coughs> is got to be the Avant. Let me take a look at it. And yep, there's the Avant ball, and it's actually the same distance, pretty much off the tee as the Pro V1. I mean, as as it goes from the tee box, the Avant maybe went a little bit further which is you know it's kind of what I would expect since I hit the Pro V1 not exactly that solid um, and this has to be the Pro V1 I would imagine yep okay so here's the, the Pro V1 looks like it's got a little mud on the ball but each shot probably will have that since the fairways were probably just recently watered this morning and then this one here which which has got to be let me pace it off here. <coughs> right, this is back here where the Pro V1 was. Right, so it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and that's the uh, MA ball. So we're going to play best ball, so I'm just going to pull my cart up here and we'll hit all these again. <clears throat> I'm going to check my uh, sprinkler head here. I've got 296 and about minus about 15. We'll say 16 to keep the math easy. <clears throat> so what is that? 280 <clears throat> into, the, into the green. And Keep the same order. I'm gonna go three wood, and I got Titleist Pro V1X, Avant, and then the MA. So make sure that there's no mud, and they all three have good lies. All right, so let's give it a shot. See how they go. So Titleist. Pro V1X, I'm just going to kind of go right for the middle of the green. So I absolutely crushed that. <coughs> it's flying just a little bit left of the green, but I crushed it. I mean, I hit it dead solid right in the middle of the face. So here's the Avant. We'll give it a shot. It. <clears throat> kind of hit it fat. Got lots of gunk all over my free wood here. It's a dirt. So then this is the MA by this one. And I crushed it also, but kind of turned it over and hooked it. So, <coughs> probably not the best examples <laughs> right there, but anyway, that's golf, right? So you never know what you're going to get. Wasn't, wasn't my best shot, but there it is. There's the Avant ball. <coughs> so I'm going to pick that guy up. Let's go up here. I'm kind of curious to see where the Pro V1 went, Pro V1X went, because I crushed it. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> so, let's see where it landed. It's pretty soft. It just did some watering. So we're going to play these three shots from here. So there's the pitch mark right there. There's the Pro V and then the MA 1.0 is over here. So, scoop it up and we'll hit a little chip shot. <coughs> there it is.
a nice tight lie right here to a back pin with fast greens and a little bit of slope from left to right and what I would expect in this situation is kind of a low checking shot um, I'm gonna pitch it you know five or ten yards short of the green uh, short of the pin and just hopefully get a little bit of bite on it so let's go hit that same order to clean out the grooves on my wedge because you never want to have dirty grooves when you're trying to hit this shot so all right so clean off the ball again i got pro v1 the avant and uh, we'll give it a shot. So, a little checking, slight spinning wedge shot is what I'm looking for. All right. Pitching just short left and let it check and release to the pin. And I flubbed that. <clears throat> Not so sharp this morning. I'm going to grab that and try it again. Just trying to make this as a, as authentic as I can, <clears throat> and I don't want to have to hit tons of little shots. So I'm gonna try this again with the Pro V1X. Oh, that okay. had just the right amount of bounce and click and spin. I don't know, maybe five, six feet from the hole. I'm gonna try the Avant. Same, same type of shot. It actually came off. It actually came off the face softer. Um, it sounded softer, and I think it flew maybe a little bit higher. The chip shot worked out closer to the hole, but I don't know. We'll have to try the shot again. That was pretty good, actually. All right, now with the MA. Very similar as well, but it kind of rolled up the face. And it would have gone further from the hole, but it just it just didn't have that bite to it, right? So it didn't have any check, whereas the Pro V1 had some good check. Um, because of the, I don't know, maybe because of the check, it came off a little bit lower. And as it came off lower, it felt good, it felt soft. <coughs> um, but I can actually tell you that the Avant ball felt the softest out of all of them. Um, off the wedge. So let's uh, let's hit a putt here. We'll just I don't know that it really matters. I'm gonna pick something in the 20 feet uphill, straight up the hill type putt. That way I get to actually hit it pretty firm. So I'm just gonna bring the balls back, you know, right back to the edge of the green here. Try to hit them pretty firm up this hill see how they feel. Each chip shot came off. It actually, the Pro V1 came off the lowest. The Avant and the MA uh, 1.0 came off higher. <coughs> and the Avant sounded uh, softer. So let's see if we can bring this in close to the camera here and uh, bounce these up and down on the putter. So here we go. This is the Pro V. You can hear that. This is the Avant. You can hear the sound. And this is the MA. Oops. Alright, so you can hear the sound difference. The MA definitely has a harder sounding pitch to it. The Avant actually sounded softer or very similar to the Pro V1X, this model right here. So I'm just going to hit these putts and then give you my Pro V1 right here. Okay, feels good, sounds good, rolled well. Hit it too hard and pushed it obviously, but, but it, as far as the ball's concerned, it's feeling good. 
Um, the Avant actually was super soft. Um, I need to try that ball some more because it actually feels really good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try the MA. Try this one. That one actually um, sounded a lot softer than I thought it was gonna sound. I was expecting to hear that hard click, but it was actually pretty soft. 